and welcome to the first extra thrift haul of 2019. This time it's not a kids haul, it's not a baby haul, it's not a maternity haul, it's a normal clothing haul. I am so excited about this. If you do not know me, my name is Manya. Welcome to my channel, My Various Delights. I post a lot of thrifting videos, home decor and fashion both. So if you do enjoy those things, please consider subscribing. We're gonna get right into the haul. I have been thrifting a couple of times this year already um, and there are gonna be some pieces that I thrifted last year during my pregnancy um, that I'm gonna show you because back then they didn't fit and now they do. First off, I'm gonna start with um, two accessories that I bought. The first one is this beret that I found at a thrift store here in town for I think $2.50. It is by um, Faye and Day, which was a Dutch department store that does not exist anymore. And it's a really cool beret because it's kind of a tweed fabric that it's made of and I really, really like it. The second accessories that I found, and I'm so excited about this, are those leather, and I think they're not real leather actually, they're fake leather gloves and they are a dark red bordeaux color. I had actually been looking for some of these for so long. I found those at the thrift store for $2.50 and I'm so excited about this. I have small hands so it's not that easy finding those kind of gloves so when I saw these I just had to get them. I found two really awesome jackets. The first one you saw on the thumbnail it's this cream stone jacket. It really reminds me of Top Gun. Does it remind you of Top Gun? I don't know if you know Top Gun. Um, I paid 11 euros for it. I actually first wanted to resell it, but when I tried it on, I loved it so much. It's a little bit oversized. The sleeves are actually quite wide, but I think that's the style that we're going for. And it has the shearling collar and um, those, where are they? Those buckles on the side. And I just really love it. I didn't think I would because it's not typically my style, but I really enjoy this jacket. The second jacket I bought is this gray and black duffel coat by O'Neill. It is made out of, partly out of wool. I've been wearing this a lot already and I love it so much. I paid, I think, eight euros or 8.50 for that. So that was such a great find. I really like especially the fact that it has two pockets on each side. So you have the pockets up here and also down here. So you can put a lot of stuff in this jacket. Plus it's wool so it's really warm and I am just very glad that I found it. This dress I've shown in another video which was the thrift tag but then I back then I couldn't try it on because I was still um, very much pregnant. This is a dress by Rihanna. It's faux suede, and I paid I think five or six euros for this dress. And it has those really nice um, buckle details on the side, and it just looks really cool, especially with a turtleneck layered underneath it. Then I also found another really nice dress. It's this dark forest green faux leather dress. It's sleeveless and has a v-neck. It's by the brand called Steps, which I believe is a Dutch brand. And I do remember that I paid seven euros for it. So then I found this really cool sweater. It has this rainbow on it. And other than that, it's great. It's this really kind of 80s silhouette. It just, uh, Reminds me of flash dance for some reason, I don't know. It is by a brand called Twin Tip, and I've never heard of that brand before. Um, and I looked it up, and they actually still sold that sweater for I think 26 euros, and I paid 3 euros for it. And when I got it, it was brand new with tag. I found another sweater, this is just HM brand. It's it has this oatmeal off-white color and it has two cranes embroidered on the front so that I thought was also really cool. It's a size extra small but it's really big. It's supposed to be oversized and a little bit cropped I think and I think I paid three or three fifty for this sweater but I loved it so much so I just had to grab it. I also found this really nice beige oversized sweater. It is by Abercrombie and Fitch and I think I paid 2 euro 50 or 3 euros for this sweater. I really really like it 
and um, it is a size small so I'm wondering if it maybe is actually from like supposed to have been in the men's section because they did put it in the women's section or if it's just oversized I don't know, do Abercrombie Fitch do oversized clothes? Because literally the last time I entered one of those actual stores must have been 2004 and back then it was just basically just hoodies, ripped jeans and really really short short jean skirts like that was everything they sold so I don't know but I really like the fit of it and the color is so nice and very on trend for this year 2019 I have this sweater to show you I don't know if you can see, but I actually found a Lacoste sweater and this one I checked the tags and it seems to be legit because I know there are a lot of fakes out there and I don't like buying fakes usually. It's a peach color, I think the camera really washes it out and the lights do, but it's a it's just a true creamsicle peach color and it has the crocodile embroidered or kind of knitted on the front. And I thought that this was so cool. This is a little bit bigger. It's a size 42, which technically would be a large because I think it's supposed to fit really snug. But I like it to be a little bit loose. I like that look just a lot better. This one I paid $4.50 for. And if you are excited about thrift finds as well, just let me know what your favorite find of all the things that I showed you was. Leave a comment down below and like this video if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't done that already. I will see you in my next video and check out my other videos that I posted as well. And I will see you next time. Bye!